First, I'm going to use Chrome or Firefox because creating content in new Google Sites does not work with Safari. We can use Safari to see a new Google Site because it's just HTML, but we can't create content in Safari. So I Google new Google Sites, there's the URL, I'm going to click on that, and I get to my new Google Sites um, page, and you can see that I'm logged in through the University of Southern Maine Humane System account. All right, we want to create a new site by clicking that little plus icon, and we're going to call this new site uh, USM Applied Biostatistics. You may call it whatever you want. Uh, at this site, we're going to have a series of links to our notebook pages. So let's insert a text box. And we'll write notebook 1, notebook 2, notebook 3, and you can continue that. Okay. We need to create a notebook page. So we go to uh, Pages. And here's our home page. That's this page right here. All right. And if I hover over here to the right, I get a pop up menu and I want to add a sub page. And this sub page will be Notebook One. I'm now on the Notebook One page. Here's where I want to insert the HTML code. So I click back to insert. We insert HTML code using the embed function, and we want to insert code, not a URL, so I need to paste the HTML code here. So let's grab a notebook. I'm going to grab, here's the notebook NB HTML file. If I double click it, it will open in Safari because that is the default application for a .html file. I'm going to, I'm going to press the control key and then click on the file and open it with BB Edit, which is a text editor. There it is. I'm going to Command A highlights the entire file. Command C copies it. Now I'm going to click over, click into that box, and paste it in. And it takes a few seconds because this is a slow computer that I'm working on here. One sheep, two sheep, up. Oh, okay, there's an inserted code. I now hit next, and it looks good. Let's insert it into the into the page. Uh, unfortunately, the whole page doesn't render the the HTML code, but just within the HTML code is rendered just within this box. But we can resize this box to make it more readable. I'm going to make the box a little bit wider and make the box a little bit longer. Scroll down to help me make the box longer still. And I think that's as big as I can make the box. So we want to now Let's go ahead and publish. We need to publish this site. The web address is going to be this URL plus whatever I put here. We're going to call this Walker uh, Bio 413. All right. And publish. Okay. We now, to link, we now need to link to this page from the home page. So let's go back to pages, click on home for home page. We'll double click notebook one, click on the chain icon, which allows us to insert a link. We want to link it to notebook one, hit apply. And now we've got that link. Let's publish. There we go. We can Title the whole site. Let's call it uh, USM Applied 
biostatistics. We can preview the site. This is what it's going to look like when you open it with a red browser. All right, that looks good. I'm going to click that little X to get out of the preview. And we can open this site, this URL, in any web browser. So I'm going to, I'm going to copy the link to the site. Go to Safari. Paste the URL into the URL box. And here in Safari, we see Notebook 1. Right, or I can go to the home page. There's the home page with Notebook One. 